Welcome to Small Arms Solutions. Today we're looking at a Walther pistol, the model PPSM2LE. Now, Walther is a company, uh, when it comes to pistols, I haven't really spent a lot of time on. Um, I really haven't had as much access to them. Uh, that's one of the companies that really hasn't really talked to me too much because I'm relatively small. But I was very, very fortunate that uh, Michiko or Ozark Bear Arms, uh, William, was able to provide me with a few Walther pistols for us to take a look at. And I'm really glad that he did because uh, I have a newfound uh, respect for Walther pistols. Uh, you know, for the most part, when you think of Walther, you think of the PPK, James Bond, you think of the, uh, you know, the P-38s from uh, World War II. Um, here in this country, the Walther semi-automatic pistols are just not nearly as common uh, as they are in Europe. Uh, Europe, uh, they're very, very common. In fact, a lot of the, Wal the Walther pistols were designed specifically for German uh, police departments and, and so forth. You know, um, their quality is up there. We just don't see them as much here in the U.S., Anyways, looking at the, the PPS, uh, it starts, this is the particular model we have here is the PPS uh, M2. Uh, we want to talk about the parent pistol, the PP, the, the original PPS. Now, PPS is a uh, police pistol slim. As you can see, this is extremely sl a small pistol. It's very, very, very similar in size to that of the PPK. Now, the original pistol, uh, basically we had a uh, 19.4 ounce pistol with a length of uh, 6.32 inches, barrel length of 3.2 inches. Now, uh, the magazines is what's interesting because both models have a six, seven, and eight round magazine, which we can definitely see from the floor plate. So we have a six, we have a seven, and then we have the eight rounder, which is again, for my massive paws, uh, makes the pistol uh, comfortable for me to shoot. You know, you put uh, the six round magazine in there. I have an entire part, part of my hand that doesn't, uh, that won't fit. So it doesn't work for me. So uh, going with the uh, seven round, Seven round is not too bad, but it's still, my finger uh, slips off of it. But having the, uh, the full size, it just uh, it fits me perfect. Now we have a steel slide. Now the finish that we have on here is Tenefer. It is the same finish that Glock used or used to use. Uh, again, these guns are made in Germany, so the process is still uh, legal there. So Walther continues to use the Tenefer process. Uh, where Glock has changed. Uh, Glock also has Glock USA where they're manufacturing, uh, so they maintain their same uh, processes where in Germany they can uh, do the processes that they, they they normally would do without having to worry about the US EPA. So we also have a, a striker indicator. As you, as you pull the trigger back to the rear, you can see the striker that's being retracted until that it fires. So that can tell that tells you the condition of the, of the pistol. Now if the striker is fired, you pull the trigger, nothing happens. Now looking at the features on here, we have a very similar trigger to a Glock with a little tit in the middle. Uh, basically, what that does is it keeps the uh, trigger from being pulled unless the middle, unless the, the the safety is pulled to the rear. So you basically have three safeties on here, similar to, to the Glock. You have the trigger safety, you have a firing pin safety, and you have what's referred to as the quick safe, which is very similar to what Glock has as a, as a drop safety. Now, this is the PPS M2 model, and what that means is a couple things. First off, the PPS had a 1913 rail on the top, and as you can see here, we don't. Uh, this is much more slender. This is designed for CCW or uh, carry concealed weapon or for undercover with having nothing that's going to snag. Also, the sights. This is a luminous sight, not tritium, but luminous. So in order to get these to, to light, you just basically take a flashlight, you hit both really quick with, with a flashlight, and you get a bright uh, yellowish type sight. So that's good for law enforcement as well. Again, it doesn't work unless you really hit it with, uh, with light. Now, looking at the, ma the magazines again, you have eight, seven, and six round magazines. Now, you also have a loaded chamber indicator, which you see. Now, even when there's a round in here, it's very difficult to see without a flashlight because of uh, it's a very dark, but it is there. If you look at the profile of these sights, you can see the fact that these are uh, these are very, very, um, there's no sharp edges. It's very easy for pulling out of a pocket if so you, so you choose. You have a slide stop on the left-hand side. That's not ambidextrous. Now, the magazine release can be switched over on the right-hand side. Now, of course, you can see this is a European gun. You see all the proof marks on here as well, CIPN. So these are all uh, German proof marks. Now, again, we have uh, we have a tenor for uh, finish on the slide, wide ejection port. And also, as you can see, we have gripping grooves front and rear. So if you know those of you who want to do press checking, you can do it. Now for disassembly, very similar to that of a Glock, as you can see, we have a, 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 a latch on the, on the front. Check, make sure it's empty, safe direction, dry fire, pull back, pull forward. 
Now, as we can see, we have a very simple, simple mechanism. Uh, it has a lot of similarities to that of the Glock, as you can see. You see a cruciform here. You see the, eje the ejector. But you also see you have long rails here as well, which you have uh, a lot longer rails than you do on, on a Glock. So your slide is held uh, in a little bit better of a position. Now, looking at your recoil spring, very similar to that of everything else that's out there, you have uh, two recoil springs, which uh, takes off a lot of rec recoil. And also due to the fact that you have such a small uh, compartment in here for which the spring has to fit, um, the dual recoil springs makes for a much longer lasting uh, recoil spring where if you were to have just a single uh, spring in here, you'd be replacing them really, really quickly. Now looking at the slide, you can see we have our firing pin block, barrel, as you can see, machining exactly what you would expect out of them. Uh, machining is typical German, uh, no machining marks, very, very well made. And, and we talked about safeties again. You have safety number one, which is going to be your trigger safety. Safety number two is going to be your firing pin safety. And safety number three is going to be right in here, which is your quick safe, which is very similar to Glock's drop safe. Frame is a fiber enforced uh, polymer. Now the trigger on this one here is about six pounds. Now the original uh, PPS had removable back straps. It had three of them. Uh, the PPS M2, which you see here, does not but does have a new redesigned stippling on here, a redesigned uh, grip, uh, grip angles and grip, um, which is extremely comfortable. The barrel on the original PPS was uh, original landing grooves. However, the PPS M2, this is a polygon type rifling similar to a Glock, a cold hammer forge barrel. Um, as we talked about in the, in the, in the past, you have a tighter uh, barrel to bullet uh, fit. You have no lands and grooves that are going to wear because you have sharp edges. Uh, you have no sharp edges, so you have a much longer barrel life uh, on this barrel versus the standard landing groove. Reassembly quite simple. Drop your barrel in place, insert your recoil spring. Now, single column magazines, again, this is designed for concealed carry. Uh, it's not designed as a primary duty pistol. The ergonomics are very similar to that of the PPQ, uh, probably more so the PPQ than they are the original PPS. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to get to the range and we're going to see how it shoots. Accuracy, reliability, excellent, is what you would expect out of any German manufactured weapon. Now, for as far as ammunition is concerned, we use some German ammunition, some normal ammunition, uh, and we also use some Black Hills, and we also use some Gecko. Uh, reliability, again, with stellar hollow points, uh, full metal jackets, we had no problems at all. Uh, for me, again, utilizing the eight, uh, the eight round magazine, the gun was extremely comfortable for me to shoot. The trigger was very nice. Uh, I had no complaints on it whatsoever. Uh, again, going with these smaller magazines, uh, you know, for somebody who has human-sized hands, um, these would be very well. Now, if you were going to be carrying this one in a pocket-type holster, you certainly would want to have the, the six-round magazine because it's that much more narrow. You know, it's certainly shootable for me, uh, but it is not comfortable, and, you, and it does affect your grip size, your, your group size. Um, when, you, when you do shoot these guns, you can tell the difference in, in your group size. When I go from magazine to magazine, the more control, obviously, you have over the pistol, uh, the better your group size is going to be. Getting off quick shots with this trigger was very, very easy. You know, again, the quality is excellent. Again, here, I think here in the United States, we don't give enough uh, attention to the Walther pistols. You know, and I'm certainly one who's, who's, uh, who's guilty of that uh, because they're just not as common uh, as, as Glock and, and many of the other ones. But if you're interested in taking a look at some really high quality pistols, take a look at the Walther. Uh, their entire family of PPS, PPQ, um, they are excellent pistols for duty use, for, uh, for concealed carry use, for target shooting. Um, it's an extremely high quality pistol. Well, I hope you all do enjoy this video. If you do, please click like, please subscribe, and even better share. Thank you.